الحمد لله وكفاه الصلاة والسلام على عباده الذين اصطفاه الحمد لله حمدا كثيرا طيبا مباركا فيه الحمد لله الذي خلق فسوى والذي قدر فهدى والذي أخرج المرعى الحمد لله الذي أستعينه وأستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يدلله فلا هادي له ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد أن سيدنا ومولانا محمد عبده ورسوله اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد في أول كلامنا اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد في أوسط كلامنا اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد في آخر كلامنا أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وسارعوا إلى مغفرة من ربكم وجنة عرضها السماوات والأرض أعدت للمتقين الذين ينفقون في السراء والضراء والكاذمين الغيظ والعافين عن الناس والله يحب المحسنين والذين إذا فعلوا فاحشة أو ظلموا أنفسهم ذكروا الله فاستغفروا لذنوبهم ومن يغفر الذنوب إلا الله ولم يصروا على ما فعلوا وهم يعلمون أولئك جزاؤهم مغفرة من ربهم وجنات تجري من تحتها الأنهار خالدين فيها ونعم أجر العاملين صدق الله العظيم وقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم الكيس من دان نفسه وعمل لما بعد الموت والعاجز من أتبع, من أتبع نفسه هواها وتمنى على الله أو كما قال عليه الصلاة والسلام رباه الترمزي رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي سبحانك لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم My respected brothers and elders in Islam Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us this life one time. This life that we have, this is a one time thing. We will not be raised up again. You know, the idolaters used to say, Hai hata, hai hata lima tu'adun. In hiya illa hayatuna dunya namutu wa nahya wa ma nahnu bi mab'uthin. They used to say that this is your life, enjoy this life. Enjoy your life. Whatever you want to do, you do. Whatever you like to do, you do it. Whatever you love, whether it's haram, halal, it's the command of Allah, it's not the command of Allah. Do whatever you desire. In here, illa hayatunad dunya. This is the life to enjoy. Namutu wa nahya. When you die, you will not wake up again. Wama nahnu bi mab'uthin. You will not be resurrected. You will not be resurrected. My brothers and elders, this is the ayah in Surah Waqia. The idolaters, the people of Makkah, the mushrikeen, used to say, أَإِذَا مِتْنَا وَكُنَّا تُرَابًا وَعِظَامًا أَإِنَّا لَمَبْعُوثُونَ أَوَ آبَاؤُنَا الْأَوَّلُونَ You know, they actually make, ask a question you know, from Allah SWT and Rasulullah SAW. That, أَإِذَا مِتْنَا وَكُنَّا تُرَابًا Do you think that when we die, you know, our body will decay and it will, it will be decomposed and it will be clay and sand? You know, أَإِنَّا لَمَبْعُوثُونَ Do you think we will be resurrected? You know, our Aba Unal Awalun, my forefather will be resurrected, my grandfather, my father. So Allah replies in Surah Waqiyah, Qul, say to them, say to these people of Makkah and the whole world, Inna al awwalina wal akhirin. Indeed, the people coming from Adam alayhi salam, wal akhirin, people coming, the last person on earth. You know, Allah is saying, La majmu'oon, I will gather all of you. Ila miqati yawmim ma'loom. There is a appointed time there is an appointed time that I will gather you when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says in the Quran Al-Haqqa what is reality? Mal-Haqqa do you know what is reality? Wa ma adaraka Mal-Haqqa do you think the life of Columbus, Ohio is reality? and then Allah you know when you when you read a book my brothers and elders when you read a book there is a foreword it's called preface you know it doesn't talk about the summary or the topic of the subject 
but it just talks about that the author and talks about what the summary is, what he wants to talk about. So likewise, Allah mentions here, كَذَّبَتْ ثَمُودُ وَعَادٌ بِالْقَارِعَةِ فَأَمَّا ثَمُودُ فَأُهْلِكُوا بِالطَّاغِيَةِ وَأَمَّا عَادٌ فَأُهْلِكُوا بِرِيحٍ صَرْصَرٍ عَاتِيَةِ سَخَّرَهَا عَلَيْهِمْ سبع ليال وثمانية أيام حسوما فترى القوم فيها صرعا كأنهم أعجاز نخل خافية. All these ayats which have recited, it means it talks about the previous nations. What happened to them before us? What happened to Ad? What happened to Thamud? And then Allah SWT asks her question: فهل ترى لهم من باقية? Do you do you see any remains of them today in the world? Are they present today? Are they alive today? And then Allah says, وَجَاءَ فِرْعَونَ Then Fir'aun came. وَالْمُؤْتَفِكَاتُ بِالْخَاطِئَةِ فَعَسَوْ رَسُولَ رَبِّهِمْ فَأَخَذَهُمْ أَخْذَةَ الرَّابِيَةِ إِنَّا لَمَّا تَغَلْمَاءُ حَمَلْنَاكُمْ فِي الْجَارِيَةِ لِنَجْعَلَهَا لَكُمْ تَذْكِرَةً وَتَعِيَهَا أُذُنُ وَاعِيَةِ All these ayats, Allah SWT is trying to talk the preface. These are the foreword. The, not the reality, not the reality, this is not the haqiqat, it's coming up. Now this is the reality. فَإِذَا نُفِخَ فِي السُّورِ When Israfil a.s. will blow the trumpet, he will blow the sur. What will happen? نَفْخَةٌ وَاحِدًا It will happen one time. Allah, then what will happen? فَيَوْمَئِذٍ وَقَعَتِ الْوَاقِعَةِ Then the reality will occur, the real reality. Allah, what will happen on that day? وَنْشَقَّةِ السَّمَاءِ Allah saying the sky will be into pieces, it will break into pieces. One shakat is sama ufahiya yoma idin wahiya wal malaku ala arjaiha. You will see angels will be coming down from the sky. Wayahmilu arsha rabbika fawkahum yoma idin thamania. Eight angels will be. Eight angels will be holding the arsh of Allah, the throne of Allah. It will come down. Waji ayoma idin bi jahannam. Jahannam, Allah will bring jahannam. وَأُزْلِفَتُ الْجَنَّةُ لِلْمُتَّقِينَ Allah will bring Jannah. وَوَضَعَ الْمَوَاضِينَ الْقِسْتَ لِيَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةِ Allah will bring the Allah will bring the weighing scale, the weighing machine. And Allah SWT will not weigh the quantity, my brothers and elders. Allah will weigh the quality. The quality. أَحْسَنُ أَلَّذِي خَلَقَ الْمَوْتَ وَالْحَيَاتِ I have created death and life. لِيَبْلُوَكُمْ I want to test you. This life is a test. أَيُّكُمْ أَحْسَنُ عَمَلًا Which one of you does quality of actions? Quality. Quality. Allah doesn't want quantity. Allah wants a heart which fears from Allah. Allah wants quality. He needs ikhlas, sincerity. My brothers and elders, that day, يَوْمَ إِذِنْ تُعْرَضُونَ Allah will bring each one of us. We will be presented to Allah. لَا تَخْفَى مِنْكُمْ خَافِيَا We cannot hide on that day. أَيْنَ المفر? Is there any place to escape? You cannot go away. Brothers and elders, we can run in dunya. We can escape in dunya. We can hide in this world. But we cannot hide on that day. Kalla la wazar ila rabbika yawma idhin al-mustaqar yunabba'u al-insan yawma idhin bima qaddama wa akhar Allah will tell you what you were doing in Columbus in the morning. But no one was looking at you. Your mother and dad were sleeping in the, in, you know, in, the, in the, their rooms. And you were alone. No one was with you. Not your wife, not your children, not your siblings, not your roommates, not your co-workers. No one. You were alone. What you were doing? Yunabba'ul insan. I will tell this human being. Bima qaddama wa akhar. What he has done. You know, what he has sent. What, what he has done. You know, in the upfront. Or what he has done in the past. What he has done in the present. What he has done in the future. My brothers and elders. Fa'amma man utiya. The person who gets the book of deeds in his right hand. Now what he does? He screams, Ha um, ha um. So brothers, you know, they come to him, brother, what's, what, what's wrong with you? Why are you screaming? Say, Iqra'u kitabiya. Read my book. I passed my exam. I passed my exam. This is not the exam of a university of Ohio. This is not the exam of this world. No, oh, my brothers and elders, this is the exam of your whole life. He will say, Iqra'u kitab. Read my book, I passed my exam. He said, how did you pass? What were you doing? What were you doing? You were living with me in Columbus. What, what extra things you were doing? He will say, Inni dhanantu anni mulaqin hisabiya. Indeed, I had complete yaqeen and belief and conviction that I will meet with my reckoning. 
mulaqin hisabiya i will meet with my hisab and kitab i have to leave this world my brothers and elders this life is temporary i came from atlanta georgia to give juma khutba here i'm not here permanently i'm flying out tomorrow morning my brothers and elders walillahil mathalul a'la we all are inhabitants of jannah adam alayhi salam came from jannah we have to go in jannah we are in transit right now we are in transit the real life is the life here after this world this life my brothers and it's a deception it's a deception the ayats which i have recited wasari'u ran ila maghfiratin mir rabbikum towards the forgiveness of your rabb wa jannatin ran towards jannah towards paradise allah what kind of paradise arduha samawatu wal ard the width of this paradise is more than the heavens and the skies uiddat lil muttaqin this paradise has been created for the people who fear from allah who are muttaqin allah who are they alladhina yunfiquna fi as-sarra the muttaqin are the ones who who spend in the path of allah who spend fi as-sarra wa ad-darra when they are poor when they are rich when they are in ease and when they are not in ease they spend in the path of allah and my brothers and elders the second quality of a believer is not regarding wealth is not regarding salat is not regarding sadaqa is not regarding hajj is not regarding zakat is not regarding any ibadat but it is regarding ikhlaq it is regarding ikhlaq what is the second quality wal kadhimin al ghaid muttaqin are the people who drink their anger who drink their anger my brothers and elders and my sisters who are listening we need to see and visualize in our life that are we angry do we drink our anger or not wal kadhimin al ghaid they drink their anger they you know one thing is one thing that you don't get angry you know if you don't want angry then you have to need to see the doctor if something is wrong with you my brothers and elders if you are getting angry but you need to stop your anger control your anger this is the quality of a believer and the third quality wala afina anin nas the people who forgive humanity who forgive humanity forgive humanity my brothers and elders this sifat this quality of forgiveness we are deprived of this sifat we are deprived of this quality my brothers and elders there is a hadith of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam close to the meaning that a person a person one person who will there are four people who will not be forgiven even in laylatul qadr four people will not be forgiven even in laylatul qadr who are they first person who drinks alcohol and sharab who is addicted to alcohol and sharab doesn't leave alcohol sharab he will not be forgiven even in laylatul qadr second person second person who is disobedient to his parents who is a disobedient to his parents and his parents are not pleased with him he will not be forgiven in laylatul qadr third person qati ar raham the person who breaks the ties in relationships with people with his family members with uncle and aunt with brother and sister i met one brother i'm like brother why don't you call your sister or your uncle or your aunt He says they don't call me why should i call them they don't care about me why should i care about them no my brothers and elders rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam he taught us ikhlaq he said oh ali oh ali should i tell you the ikhlaq of awwalin and akhirin he said ajal ya rasulullah ma huwa ya rasulullah he said four things tasil man qata'ak oh ali the one who breaks with you you join with him the one who breaks ties with you doesn't want to see your face you call him on eid you call him say brother i forgive you sister i forgive you my uncle i forgive you my aunt i forgive you you know that they are the culprit you know that they have done wrong with you but still tasil man qata'ak you need to join the relations the one who breaks with you tu'ti amman haramak the person who deprives you you give him his right wa'fu amman zalamak you forgive the people who has done oppression on you forgive them forgive them forgive them ahsin man asa ilaik the person who does bad with you you do good with him you do good with him my brothers and elders the fourth person who will not be forgiven in laylatul qadr is mushahin the one who has grudge stinginess bad feeling 
hasad, kina, bughd. You know, he has stinginess, grudge, all these bad things, bad feelings for the other Muslim, for the other human being. He will not be forgiven even in Laylatul Qadr. So my brothers and elders, I came from very far. The sisters who are listening, the brothers who are listening, I want to request few things regarding ikhlaq. First thing, we need to control our anger. We need to control our anger. I need to ask my wife, how is my ikhlaq? She will tell me, how is my ikhlaq? I need to, the wife need to ask the husband, you know, that how, how is the ikhlaq of the wife? My brothers and elders, the third thing, the second thing is to forgive humanity. Clean our heart, my brothers and elders. Clean our heart. We have things, small, small things we are not talking to people. We are not talking to our blood relations, our brother, our sister, our neighbor, our roommate, our co-worker. We don't speak to him. Why? Because he, you know, he doesn't like me. He doesn't want to see my face. Oh, you know, he has done wrong to me. Oh, my uncle did, never invited me in his daughter's wedding. I will not talk to him. No, brothers and elders, these are all lame things. We need to clean our heart. Clean our heart. Like we clean the house on Friday, like we clean our hard disk, like we format the phone. We clean everything. We need to clean our heart on daily basis. Daily basis, we need to clean our heart. And my brothers and elders, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa you know the ayats which I've recited, I will make the translation. Allah subhanahu wa says, wal kathimin al ghayd The people who drink their anger. وَالْعَافِينَ عَنِ النَّاسِ The people who forgive humanity. وَاللَّهُ يُحِبُّ الْمُحْسِنِينَ Allah loves the people, you know, who do ihsan. And then, وَالَّذِينَ إِذَا فَعَلُوا فَاحِشَةً أَوْ ظَلَمُوا أَنفُسَهُمْ The person, a muttaqi person, when he does an immodest, a shameless act, or he does zulm, oppression on himself or herself, what, what does he do? ذَكَرُوا اللَّهِ He remembers Allah right away. He forgives. He asks forgiveness from Allah immediately. Is it anyone else who will forgive the sins of this person other than Allah? He does not insist on that sin. Whatever he has done, and he knows. And then my brothers and elders, Allah says, For them, for them there is reward. For these people there is reward. Jannatun tajri, a paradise. Tajri min tahtiha al-anhar. You will see rivers will be flowing underneath them. Khalidina fiha, they will live there forever. Wa ni'ma ajrul amilin. And this is the reward for the people who do actions. My brothers and elders, we always say this actions speak louder than words. Even I say a lot of good things on the member, you don't act upon it, doesn't matter. It will be only talks. Actions speak louder than words. This is Quran. This is the reward for the people who do good actions. Amilin, the person who does amal action. My brothers and elders. And then the second, in the in this next ayah, Allah says, Hada bayanul This Quran, this is a bayan. This is a talk for human human beings. People think these are normal talks. But Allah is saying, Wa this is nasihat. This is an advice. Lil muttaqeen. For the people who fear from Allah. This is an advice. This is a way of life. This is how you should spend your life. My brothers and elders, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said, said to the sahaba, what is the action which is the highest in the eyes of Allah? The action which is the highest in the eyes of Allah. Sahaba replied, as-salah. Praying five times. He said, la. Ahsan to very good. But that's not what I'm asking. Something else. He says, Az-Zakat. You know, Sawmu Ramadan. Al-Hajj fi Baytullah. You know, all the good actions. Rasulullah s.a.w. replied, Very good, but that's not what I'm asking. At the end, Sahaba said, Allahu wa Rasuluhu a'lam. Allah and His Messenger, they better know. What is the action? What is the action? Which is the highest in the eyes of Allah. So Rasulullah s.a.w. replied, The action. The action which is the highest in the eyes of Allah, is to love each other for the sake of Allah. Al-hubbu lillah. Al-hubbu lillah. Love each other for the sake of Allah. For the sake of Allah. My brothers and elders, we need to, we need to revive these sunnas. And my brothers and elders, one sahabi, his name is Ma'ad ibn Jabal. Every khutbah, wherever I travel, I give khutbahs everywhere in the U.S., Wherever I travel, I narrate this hadith at the end. 
And this is very important hadith. The brothers and sisters who are sleeping or they are drowsy, please wake up and listen. This is the last thing. Inshallah, we have the second khutbah and pray. My brothers and sisters, Ma'ad ibn Jabal. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to Ma'ad ibn Jabal, Oh Ma'ad, Oh Ma'ad. Should I tell you the khulasa of deen? The summary of deen? The conclusion of deen? He said, Ajal ya Rasulullah. Ma huwa ya Rasulullah. My brothers and elders, Rasulullah sallam did not say a word. He took out his tongue and he grabbed his tongue from his two fingertips like this. He said, O Ma'ad, Kuffa hadha. Safeguard your tongue. This is khulasa of deen. This is summary of deen. This is conclusion of your religion, of your deen, Islam. He said, Ya Rasulullah, we will go in Jahannam, we will be burned in the hellfire because of misusing our lisan, our tongue. Thaqilat ki ummika ya ibn Jabal. O son of Jabal, the majority of Jahannamis, the majority of the people will be burned in the hellfire because of misusing their lisan, their tongue. I will repeat this again. Rasulullah SAW said to Ma'ad, O Ma'az, kuffa hadha, safeguard your tongue. He said, Ya Rasulullah, we will go in Jahannam because of misusing our lisan, our tongue. He said, majority of the people, majority of the people, they will be burned in the hellfire because of misusing their tongue, their lisan. So my brothers and elders, I came from very far. I flew from Atlanta in the morning. I request all the brothers and sisters that we make tawbah. We, we ask forgiveness from Allah. That Ya Allah, whatever I have done till now, I make tawbah. I seek refuge. I seek forgiveness. And my brothers and elders, we control our tongue. Every sin, every sin is related to tongue. Control our tongue. Don't talk bad about anyone. We, don't, we never know that he will die on Iman and I will die on Kufr. We never know this. So we don't talk bad. Don't lie. Don't cheat. Don't fraud. Don't do backbiting, ghiba. Don't do this. Control it. Abu Bakr Siddiq used to put stones in his mouth so he does not speak anything wrong. Anything wrong. May Allah give us tawfiq, my brothers and elders, to convey to the whole of humanity and to implement these talks in our life and to convey to the whole of humanity. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Nashadu wa la ilaha illa anta. Nastaghfiru kama natubu ilayk. Nastaghfiru kama natubu ilayk. Nastaghfiru kama natubu ilayk. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun. Wa salamun ala al mursaleen. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. الحمد لله الذي استعينه واستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلله فلا هادي له ونشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد ان سيدنا ومولانا محمدا عبده ورسوله أرسله بالحق بشيرا ونذيرا بين يدي الساعة من يتع الله ورسوله فقد رشد ومن يعصيهما فإنه لا يضر إلا نفسه ولا يضر الله شيئا أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد عبدك ورسولك وصل على المؤمنين والمؤمنات والمسلمين والمسلمات وبارك على محمد وأزواجه وذريته قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم أرحم أمتي بأمتي أبو بكر وأشدهم في أمر الله عمر وأستقهم حياء عثمان وأقضاهم علي وفاتمة سيدة نساء أهل الجنة والحسن والحسين سيدا شباب أهل الجنة وحمزة أسد الله وأسد رسولي رضوان الله تعالى عليه مجمعين اللهم اغفر للعباس وولده مغفرة ظاهرة وباتنة لا تغادر ذنبا الله الله في أسحابي لا تتخذوهم غرضا من بعدي فمن أحبهم فبحبي أحبهم ومن أبغضهم فببغضي أبغضهم وخير أمتي قرني ثم الذين يلونهم ثم الذين يلونهم وقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم أبو بكر في الجنة عمر في الجنة عثمان في الجنة علي في الجنة طلحة في الجنة 
زبیر فی الجنہ عبد الرحمن بن عوف فی الجنہ سعید بن ابی وقاس فی الجنہ ابو عبیدہ ابن جراح فی الجنہ سعید فی الجنہ لا الہ الا اللہ الحلیم الكریم سبحان اللہ رب العرش العظیم والحمد للہ رب العالمین نسألوک موجبات رحمتک وعزائم مغفرتک والغنیمت من کل بر والسلامت من کل اثم لا تدع لنا ذنبا الا غفرتا ولا هما الا فرجتا ولا دينا الا قضيتا ولا مريضا الا شفيتا ولا ميتا الا رحمتا ولا كربا الا نفستا ولا ضالا الا هديتا ولا مبتلا الا عافيتا ولا حاجة هي لك رضا الا قضيتها ويسرتها يا ارحم الراحمين يا اول الاولين يا اخر الاخرين يا ذا القوة المتين يا رحم المساكين اللهم إنا نسألك من خير ما سألك منه نبيك وعبدك محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم ونعوذ بك من شر ما استعاذ منه نبيك وعبدك محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وأنت المستعان وأنت المستعان وعليك البلاغ ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله اللهم انصر الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم انصر الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم انصر الإسلام والمسلمين وذل الشرك والمشركين ودم أعداء الدين اللهم ربنا هب لنا من أزواجنا وذرياتنا قرة أعين وجعلنا للمتقين إماما اللهم رب ارحمهما كما ربياني صغيرا اللهم اغفر لنا للمؤمنين والمؤمنات والمسلمين والمسلمات الأحياء منهم أموات اللهم ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار اللهم إنا نسألك رضاك والجنة ونعوذ بك من سخطك والنار ونعوذ بك من سخطك والنار ونعوذ بك من سخطك والنار اللهم إنا نسألك الهدى والتقى والعفاف والغنى اللهم إنا نسألك العفو والعافية في الدنيا والآخرة اللهم ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار وقنا عذاب القبر وقنا عذاب الحشر وقنا عذاب الميزان اللهم إنا نسألك إيمانا كاملا ويقينا صادقا وقلبا خاشعا ولسانا ذاكرا وعملا متقبلا اللهم ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم اللهم إنا نعوذ بك من عذاب القبر ونعوذ بك من عذاب جهنم ونعوذ بك من فتنة المسيح الدجال ونعوذ بك من فتنة المسيح الدجال ونعوذ بك من فتنة المسيح الدجال ونعوذ بك من فتنة المحيا والممات ونعوذ بك من فتنة المأثم والمغرم اللهم ربنا إننا سمعنا مناديا ينادي للإيمان أن آمنوا بربكم فآمنا ربنا فاغفر لنا ذنوبنا وكفر عنا سيئاتنا وتوفنا مع الأبرار وتوفنا مع الأبرار وتوفنا مع الأبرار اللهم ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا أو أخطأنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إصرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به وعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين اللهم اغفر لحينا وميتنا وشاهدنا وغائبنا وصغيرنا وكبيرنا وذكرنا وأنثانا اللهم من أحييته منا فأحيي على الإسلام ومن توفيته منا فتوفه على الإيمان ومن توفيته منا فتوفه على الإيمان اللهم ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم 
وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعذكم لعلكم تذكرون فذكروني أذكركم واشكروا لي ولا تكفرون أقم الصلاة Please make the line straight, inshallah. Fill in the first row, second row, third row. Fill in the gaps. Please turn off your cell phones, brothers and elders. Please turn off your cell phones. Put, put it on silent mode. Everyone, please check your cell phone. We don't want any cell phone to ring in the salat. Inshallah, put your heels on the line so the row can become straight, inshallah. And fill in the gaps, please. Jazakumullah <laughs> الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة حي على الصلاة حي على الفلاح حي على الفلاح قد قامت الصلاة قد قامت الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله استوعوا عتدلوا ترصوا please make the line straight إن شاء الله fill in the gaps please الله أكبر الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين سبح اسم ربك الأعلى الذي خلق فسوى والذي قدر فهدى والذي أخرج المرعى فجعله غثاء أحوى سنقرئك فلا تنسى إلا ما شاء الله إنه يعلم الجهر وما يخفى ونيسرك لليسرى فذكر إن نفعت الذكرى سيذكر من يخشى ويتجنبها الأشقى الذي يصل النار الكبرى ثم لا يموت فيها ولا يحيا قد أفلح من تزكى وذكر اسم ربه فصلى بل تؤثرون الحياة الدنيا والآخرة خير وأبقى إن هذا لفي الصحف الأولى صحف إبراهيم وموسى الله أكبر سمي الله لمن حمده الله أكبر
Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Maliki Yawm Ad-Din Iyaka Na'budu wa Iyaka Nasta'een اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين هل أتاك حديث الغاشية وجوه يومئذ خاشعة عاملة ناصبة تصلى نارا حامية تسقى من عين آنية ليس لهم طعام إلا من ضريع لا يسمن ولا يغني من جوع وجوه يومئذ ناعمة لسعيها راضية في جنة عالية لا تسمع فيها لاغية فيها عين جارية فيها سرر مرفوعة وأكواب موضوعة ونمارق مسفوفة وزرابي مبثوثة أفلا ينظرون إلى الإبل كيف خلقت وإلى السماء كيف رفعت وإلى الجبال كيف نصبت وإلى الأرض كيف سطحت فذكر إنما أنت مذكر لست عليهم بمسيطر إلا من تولى وكفر فيعذبه الله العذاب الأكبر إن إلينا إيابهم ثم إن علينا حسابهم الله أكبر سمي الله لمن حمدا الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر اللهم بارك اللهم بارك على إبراهيم وعلى آل محمد اللهم بارك اللهم بارك على إبراهيم وعلى آل محمد وعلى آل 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 إبراهيم و
السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله